Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 3 Tigers career. Although it's going to be a little bit of a detour, it's going to be Origin Game 1 at ANZ Stadium. And it's going to be a bit of a blast from the past here with some of the player faces. We got a few a few retirees in the Queensland lineup for sure. Uh, in the Blues lineup is going to look quite different as well. Um, I'll try to keep an eye on both Aiden Caesar, Adam Reynolds there, um, Joel Thompson. Who else? We got uh, Rui Farah back in the arena. Um, but yeah, one player you'll see, I think Inglis for us was injured for a fair while. That's why he isn't in the centers. So I'm playing, uh, playing Michael Morgan. And I actually think I'll... Um, I'll talk about, I'll probably make a separate video soon talking about like the Queensland Origin team in real life because it's, it's not looking good for us, I gotta be honest. I don't know who the hell we're gonna pick in the back line, but personally I think um, Michael Morgan should get picked at center. I, I think that would probably be, I think he, I think he's a pretty good center. That game where he played uh, for Queensland in the center that one time he was excellent I actually yeah he's strong defensively he's quick and personally yeah I think um in like the higher up stage I think center is is his spot but uh right here unfortunately it looks like the Blues get the first try with a little bit of scrambling around there with the short kick James Tamo back into the fray gets it Aiden Caesar converts and uh six nil to the Blues Early on, not a not a good start as Will Chambers, who unfortunately will probably have to be there again this year. I <laughs> I, I don't think Chambers deserves to get picked for Queensland, but there's really no one else to um to take his spot. I mean, I saw Gordon Tallis's team uh, in the paper, and he had um he had Chambers obviously, but he also as the offloads of frantic right there and uh Paul Gallen gets injured we get the penalty as well but he had David Fafida at center which <laughs> I mean I think David Fafida he, he could be a bolter on the bench but not a starting center good lord he's he's a good player and he's quick but no that that's a that's a terrible idea I think um it's good to have big bodies and good defensive players but I yeah I don't think that's a good idea but again like if they don't pick Morgan in the centers like I don't know who else they would put at center um as off the dropout it's gonna be Will Chambers scores the try I uh I know I said I'd make a separate video but I'm talking all about it now I'll still <laughs> I'll still make a proper origin video but yeah it's interesting because like if you look at it um I mean Corey Oates and Dane Gagai, I think, will be the wingers for sure. Ponga at fullback. Um, although, potentially what could happen is uh, Kyle Felt for the Cowboys is obviously... I think he's due back uh, this this week, which is good for the Cowboys. As a nice play again here. Cameron Smith linking up. Gets the offload to Cherry. But uh, Kyle Felt, I think, is back this week, hopefully. And if he if he goes really well and he impresses, then I I'd be pretty happy with Kyle Felt <clears throat> and Corey Oates to be the two wingers, and then have um, Morgan. I don't think they're going to do this. I think they're definitely going to pick Chambers just because. Even though I I personally just don't really like. I think Chambers is pretty overrated in general, but I think they'll pick Chambers. And if they did it like that with Fel uh, Felton. I would say I would pick probably Gagai and Chambers in the centers, but I'd like them to pick Morgan and uh, Morgan and Gagai. But Gagai, I mean, granted, as Luca Lewis is going to score a very easy try, but I think Gagai's best position is the wing, probably. But you know, depends depends how well Felt goes because we don't <laughs> we don't have any other wing. It's ridiculous how how low our depth is this year. It's crazy, dude. Our forward pack, I think our forward depth is actually pretty solid this year. Um, we got a lot of good young forwards, so I'm not I'm not too worried about our forward pack honestly. But it's the back line that I think could be a big issue, which is actually it's been it's been the opposite for probably a number of years now. And then in the halves, you'd probably 
it de I guess this all depends as well with what happens with Cherry Evans. I think Cherry Evans should definitely be the halfback and Munster the 5'8", if he's fit. And then probably, I mean, they've been talking about it, and I actually do think Ben Hunt should be the half, uh, dummy half. I think he would make a pretty solid dummy half. And also now with McCulloch suffering a uh, knee injury. I don't know how bad it is, but um, not, not good. <laughs> not good. And for those that don't know, like when I'm putting this video up, it's probably already been confirmed how bad McCulloch's injury is. The t I'm making this video like just as we, like I found out about it. So that's why I don't know like the length of it. Just so, <laughs> just so people know. Obviously when um, it gets announced, like I'll, I'll know then. So yeah, but it's it's uh, it's looking it's looking a little tight. The one player, honestly, it's annoying. James Seguiaro, he's I don't know what's going on with Seguiaro. Like the Sharks want to keep him, but I guess with salary cap, they can't they can't have him. I don't know what's going on at the Sharks and with Seguiaro, but Seguiaro is a very very good dummy half. And I know like a few years ago, um, he was definitely talked about as an origin player. Obviously he was behind Cameron Smith, but he was probably the second guy. Like Jake Friend was talk about talked about as well, but it was probably Seguiaro who snuck up and became like the second person um to potentially get that spot. Um unfortunately, I mean I don't know I just don't understand what's going on. Like how is a team not picking up Seguiaro? Like, can the Sharks just, like, keep hold of him if they can't? Like, I, I really, I honestly just don't know what is going on there. So, yeah, it's pretty frustrating because Seguiaro, he's definitely still got the talent to be a starting dummy half. And I think if he, if he had some starting games and he got into a team and was their dummy half, like, he could easily be Queensland's dummy half. He's, he's a very good dummy half. I, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> I, I just don't understand what's, uh, what's going on there. But yeah, uh, if we, we score, we hit back. I haven't really talked about the game, but uh, the Blues, this is a big kick from JT. He's usually pretty good in these situations, and he does not let us down right there. So 18 to 12, spread it out wide here on third. Chambers gets it onto that man, Dane Gagai, looking to take on the fullback. Palms off one, gets the offload. He's swamped there. As uh, we look to go down this right-hand side with Seguiaro, the man I was just talking about, out of dummy half. Here's our bench dummy half in, uh, in this game. As the kick goes up, it's a good kick. Chambers, it's going to be James Tedesco, takes it. And that's not looking good for us. Still 10 minutes to go. Still 10 minutes to go. It's not rugby league live four. So we still have, there's still time. And there's definitely, you know, you can definitely score more freely than live four so I'm not not panicking at this stage but uh, James Tamo going straight through there does not bode well surely the Blues are going to look for a field goal but they're going to get oh my god oh that is horrendous they're not even going to go for the two though which is very very strange um could have iced the game probably right there but they are going to widen the clock down which is annoying for me as well and potentially score a try. They've got a shot on the left. I was trying to, I was trying to push players across, but it just wouldn't happen. And James Roberts in the New South Wales team back in the day as well, which is pretty funny. But he, uh, he's going to score the match winner for the Blues. And yeah, it was uh, pretty. I mean, it was a good game of footy. We we made a few a few too many errors. Honestly, twenty four to twelve. You know probably closer than that that six points would have probably been more reflective of the game but they uh they got that last that final try to blow it out just a little bit but you know I'm confident going in to to game two I feel like with the team we can have we can definitely we definitely can win it's just uh game one a little bit a little bit uh lacking in terms of polish but other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one